was red was the nose of Daniel, the red-nosed Larson. He screeched, he yelled in the halls of the Panera Bread, but they were not heard, for his madness consumed him. So yeah, uh, Daniel Larson, I talked about him before. I uh, had a, a very interesting uh, use for him in my anti-TikTok shit. Because I really fucking hate TikTok, and you're an idiot if you use it. You're a bigger idiot if you're a dude using it. But, uh, you know, you can go see that video. A lot of assholes got fucking booty blasted, pissed off, disliking my vid. The fucking haters just screeching. But I decided to keep an eye on Daniel Larson. Because he's good to talk about. He's good to bring up some news to you people. Give it my own uh, short kind of shake. So, Daniel was allowed to walk the streets once again. After being uh, thrown in the slammer, I guess, for like a day or two and then uh, institutionalized. And the government, in all its wonderful, smart glory, that's what you get for fucking helping people. You're a fucking hero, Uncle Sam. Yeah, you, this guy's got a new tarred wrangler. He's got this guy giving him fucking money. This, what I fucking literally said, dude. You, you, like, clothed. Given cash. Allowed to walk wherever the fuck he wants, man. Fucking USA of today. Fucking Christ, man. They're letting every fucking sick fuck out on the streets. Fucking Jesus Christ. I forgot where the fuck this guy even lives now. I can't... I just lost it in my fucking head. But either way, this idiot was walking the streets uh, on a TikTok once again because he's got some fucking uh, emotional attachment to it, trying to think he's a star. But he's an insane psychopath with absolutely nothing to his name except the fucking phone and his trolls. So, walks around, uh, gets harassed by some of the trolls who found out, because that's what happens when you use TikTok. They're just going to know where you go. They got eyes on them. And uh, some of them uh, fuck with them. They say hi to them. They bring them for, uh, some of them bring them, bring them to the fucking bar, from what I've heard. I, I, I fucking hope not. Please do not give this fucking idiot anything. You're not cool, dude. You're not cool if you take a pic with this fucking idiot. Doesn't this guy got like fucking, uh, didn't he have like chiggers? You get that when you don't shower at all. Ugh. I don't know. People are fucking retarded. Like I'm not even, a, some people were saying I was a part of their discord. No, I'm not. I'm not a part of any fucking discord and I fucking hate discord too. And just, just throwing that out there just in case if this uh, hits off like that last one. But Daniel Larson, he got fed up. He started flipping out in the parking lot where there's, uh, there's those, all those like, little store mall shit where you park your car. I forgot what they're, what they're fucking called. And they're all just out there. They're pointing at him. They're driving by saying, Daniel. They're, they're saying he looks like Bigfoot, and he starts flipping out. He's saying, no, fuck you. Stop bothering me. I'm calling the fucking police. I'm calling the police. And he's just flipping them off, giving them the bird, just uh, being the good old Larson because he's a paranoid piece of shit who doesn't know what a joke is. Just saying he's going to call the cops. So he panics after they don't stop. And he runs to the nearest spot to hide in. A fucking Panera Bread. And it looks like... So what, when he walks in, I guess one of the trolls follow him in. Some girl with a camera. She's fucking around. She's laughing. She, it's a joke. And he gets even more scared and paranoid. He starts f flipping the fuck out, calling her out, saying, bitch, bitch, bitch. And then these two guys, probably uh, they, they're cashiers, employees, maybe one of them fucking owns it, I don't know. Just trying to keep their business looking normal so they don't get in trouble or fuck themselves over. And then, you know, in a business standpoint, trying to get this random, homeless, broke, bum, insane person to calm the fuck down, flipping out. And they're trying to, like, uh, tell him, yo, you gotta stop, you gotta leave, you gotta leave. He doesn't listen. He starts screeching, yelling at the fucking chick more. The person who's recording the clip, you can look it up on YouTube. Like, uh, bitch, bitch. And then they just start, they're about to start having enough. And they're going to start, like, trying to slowly push him out to leave. But then he threatens to attack these guys. Now, I can just see it. When I was watching these clips, they, they did not want to touch this guy. They, they pro this guy probably still smelled like shit. And they're like, they don't want any. Like, trust me, I've seen like homeless broke bums flip the fuck out because I'm in New York City. 
Nobody ain't want to touch a fucking bum. They don't want any blood on their hands because you get sick. Who knows? They got fucking crazy diseases on them, man. This is it a ugh. That's why nobody wants to touch Danny Larson, which he does have crazy, sick, disgusting diseases. I'm just saying that. You can look that up on a, his Pinterest or something. Ugh. Ugh. But it gets worse. They start yelling at him. He's saying, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. She's recording me and stalking me. My fans are harassing me. I'm getting attacked. I'm going to be killed. And then it finally reaches the peak. So as the last defense mechanism what daniel does like an animal that defecates itself when it, when about to die he starts dropping the end bomb not once but just multiple times <laughs> and these people are like whoa and then they like like they like move the fuck back like what the fuck like it's caught off guard dropping the the hard r n word this random like Broke bunk just calling these two dudes, both white, the N-word. Just Oh, man. That was the best part. It was so fucking funny. Like, watch the whole clip. God. He he says he the, to justify using that. Like, he justifies using it when he's being, like, pushed into a corner. Man, bro. Oh, shit, man. This fucking... This dude's a, a circus, ain't he? He's a real-life gobbo. So, that wasn't even the end of it, too. So, after dropping the N-word and uh, either they just start getting more aggro on him, he starts just punching himself. He does that, too. Just starts... Like a... And he fucks himself up so bad... That when he was finished, he had to get brought straight to the hospital just because he blunt trauma himself so hard. And this is what came out of it. Look at that. <laughs> just look at that shit. Bruh. Damn, dude. Yo, Shaggy went fucking downhill after Scooby-Doo, man. Holy shit. Look at a crackhead Shaggy right there. Look at that. Holy fuck. God damn, I forgot he, he did that with the middle of his hair of his hair. Some trolls came up to him and like gave him cash or something to shave his fucking head and then fucking so stupid. You know, imagine owning a business and you got this freak. He walks in and just makes a complete ass of himself in your establishment. God, that's the USA for you. These two dudes that were trying to stop him, they probably got kids, they got houses, they got taxes to pay. They got to go get food. They got to wake up in the morning every day to make sure their fucking business is afloat in this shitty ass fucking economy. That's just, ha that's just, just nothing good. Nothing good. And they got this fucking idiot coming in. So, you, so yeah, Daniel Larson, I really hope, uh, you know, uh, uh, I hope a magic, uh, uh, a car comes out of nowhere. And, you know, after hitting him. He starts seeing the funky phantom and maybe take him to the fucking underworld to get uh, tortured. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Daniel Larson, the red nosed Larson. Uh, yeah, please do us all a favor and, uh, you know what? Uh, cast yourself out, bro. Do it, man. Do it for the fans. Uh, now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go uh, sleep because I look like fucking shit. Okay. Good night, hosers.